Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. Well, today I have a very fun, unusual project for you. We're going to be recycling or upcycling um, a greeting card and into a journal. So I think this is going to be a fun project. Anybody can do it. If you, I'm sure you have old greeting cards or new ones. The one we're going to be using today, actually I picked up at an antique shop or a thrift shop. They had just this huge bucket of cards that didn't have any envelopes with them. And I just grabbed things that had pretty images and this was one of them. And as you can see, you know, it has a rose on it, which you know I absolutely adore. This was for a grandma and it had a lovely sentiment inside, but I don't have any grandparents, so they've all passed away many years ago. So I've decided, and it's very heavy, very thick. Hear it? See it? Thick, thick. I think it's perfect for the cover of a journal. So today we're going to turn this into a little journal. I have done a lot of the prep work so that hopefully we can do start to finish here. That's my goal. So I want to welcome you all, uh, especially you brand new subscribers and new viewers. And I also want to say hugs, kisses, and special welcome to all of my returning subscribers who watch me on a regular basis. So now if you're not a subscriber and you want to help my channel, please go over and subscribe, hit the little notification so you will be notified every time I have a new video. Because people tell me, oh, I didn't know you had a new video. If you hit the notification bell, that little bell right next to the word subscribe, and you put all, all of my videos will show up as they come up and they're brand new. So anyway, let's move on to what we're doing today. We're going to take this lovely card and we're going to make it into something else. Another beautiful thing. I love to repurpose and to uh, revive and make things look new again. So I love this. This has a, a real pretty shine to it. I'm not going to mess with this part of my image. So let's get busy here. I uh, measured this card. The back side of this card is six and a quarter by six and an eighth. And um, I'm using that as my main size. Inside for cutting papers, five and a half or five and a quarter, depending upon how big you want them, by the full 11. So if you're using eight and a half by 11, uh, I'm going to be using that for the pages on the inside. So with this, I am using a kit from Shabby Debbie Duda, Tina over there. I don't know the name of this kit. It's a very small kit. It only has like three background papers and a sheet or two of um, ephemera. Very, very tiny kit. Doesn't have anything else to go with it. This is pretty much what you see here. And the pages I use are pretty much everything that um, comes with Tina. I'm also using uh, Tina's little labels here. I'm using those. Now, I'm not on her design team. I just love Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah, so I have lots and lots and lots of her kits, and I told you that this year I'm going to use what I have, and I have all these things I haven't used of hers. I'm going to do that. I also have her little cigarette cards that has some lovely little roses on them. We're going to be using those today, hopefully, so that's where we're at. Um, I made myself a little charm set that's using a little tag from a jewel design and I put one of those um, acrylic medallions on top. I punched it, put a little eyelid in it and put it on a bolt pin with some charms to go on the outside of the journal when I'm all done. So that's ready. I have a few little um, embroidered trim, rose trims to use. So we have those. I'm going to set those off to the side. I've pre-cut some tags and things to use. I've already pre-cut the pages, which we're going to go over, and I've pre-cut these pages. So these are some of the things that I'm going to be putting in this journal. It'll be pretty close to 20 little inserts, but I don't think it's going to be particularly fat. I think it'll be great. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to want to cover this part about Grandma. I'm going to want to cover this sentiment, this sentiment, and the back side. Because when I'm done, I don't want anyone other than you guys to know where this, what it was made from. You will not be able to tell. And I'll be using probably some lace down the side, maybe a little more lace over here, maybe some lace inside. So, you know, just, just like that. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of inking on this card and I'm going to be using Distress Ink Victorian Velvet. And I'm also going to be using Distress Oxide Sponge Sugar. So I think I will start with the sponge sugar and give it a little, I want to see if you can even see it, not really. So we're gonna do a little bit on the very, very edges to match the card because it does 
the spun sugar actually matches the pink of this card. Now it has happens to be in the pinks and the reds because, you know, that's what I like. And I have a lot of papers and things that have roses and flowers. So my goal this year is to use up what I have. And this little card has been sitting in a bucket waiting to be used. So it's getting used today. Finally going to use this little card. <clears throat> I have a brand new um, inker, so it doesn't have any ink on it yet. So it's going to take me a little bit to build up some ink for this reinker. I mean, for this inker. Distress Oxide. This pad sure gets dry. And I mean, I have rinked the heck out of it. So I don't know. I use it a lot though. Well, how are you, everyone? What are you guys up to? What are you doing? Are you all well and safe and happy? I hope so. I hope there's all good things happening for you guys. Um, I think, let me see. That's right, I have to do a little on the back. I am covering it, but I want to make sure that if, you know, something peeks through, it's pink. I don't think that would show there. So this is when I'm going to switch over to the Victorian velvet. I love this. I use it a lot. In fact, I used to use it before I found all, before Tim, I think it was the first thing he had in a pink or rosy color. Um, so I've been using it for a couple years. And then I found the spun sugar and the other one we've been, the tattered rose and uh, faded lipstick. And, you know, I've got all the others, flamingo, um, I have all those too. So, uh, oh, someone asked me about these. These are from, I just blanked, Clint and Shell. Over on the Ramblin' Crafter. They have an Etsy shop, the Ramblin' Crafter. And they actually have some of these in stock right now. So if you need an ink blender and you have arthritis or don't, this is fabulous. You don't, your hand doesn't cramp up. So um, go on over there and get, I saw that they had some in stock. So go on over there and get yourself one and tell them Lorette sent you. Okay, so... So they know I'm thinking about them. Okay. And I'm putting it with the pink. So we kind of have a, a multitude of colors. Because this has multiple pink and red. And you know. Some really pretty little colors. I probably should keep that out. I'm sure I'm not done. Alright. Now the next step I'm going to do is. I'm actually going to cover this back first. I think. Because it's the biggest piece I have. I've already pre-cut a piece. At six and a quarter. And six and an eighth. And um. Not only did I pre-cut it, but I also punched the edges and inked it already. So we can just cover that right up. I will probably start with a glue stick. Now, I bought myself a brand new craft mat. I am going to try this out. Um, I've never owned one of these. I'm going to put that on my little box. Put my, get my, let's see. I do, is there a right side and a wrong side to this? I'm going to think this is the side I'm supposed to use maybe, huh? Put this out on my desk. You're supposed to be able to wash it and everything. I've never used one of these, so let's give it a shot. I get tired of throwing paper away, so I'd rather clean it at the end of the day than keep throwing out or filling up book pages or throwing out paper. You're supposed to be able to just wipe it right off. You could do that right when you're in the middle of it and go right back to work, so. Anybody got anything new and exciting they're doing? I heard we've got more wedding journals going. Um, a journal for a puppy that passed away. Uh, they're doing a memory journal of their doggy. And I'm not sure what else I saw. Um, I think, I hope all of you caught that last week that Jolene, her puppy, Bella, did not make it and has passed away. Um, and for those of you who've been asking and following my cousin, he passed away today um, at about 1 o'clock Montana time, so it would be probably noon my time from COVID. So he, um, he was on a ventilator, and he couldn't recover. So he, uh, his name was Kevin, 44 years old, and he passed away today. Kind of a rough day, so here I am in my craft room doing what makes me feel the best. So... Now, I see, I might have gotten this on there a little bit crooked, but it's on there, so we're going to cut it off. Okay. Ooh. 
Ooh. All right, let's see what we got here. Yeah, I did put it on a bit crooked. Well, it was hard. I mean, I literally cut it the exact size that it needed to be. <laughs> so when I didn't get it on there perfectly, which there's no way to do, I just, I'm not that perfect, you guys. Um, now, if we don't want to see any white edges, you know what we need to do. We need to let's see if we can get the ink out here and give it a little ink so we don't see the white where we've just cut it. Okay. Just in case where we cut it, you know, and we've now created a white spot. Okay, you guys, let's see. Um, next up, let's go to the inside. Now, I don't want to cover the whole page, so I cut a piece, but I thought I would just center here. I can make it a pocket maybe on this one little side. What do you guys think? Should I do that? Maybe I will just put a little. If it's used as a pocket, great. If it's not, at least the option is there. And someone with that little, hopefully, sees the, the little crop. Okay, <clears throat> let's put this over here. Now, definitely not going to be using a glue stick for that. So, let's get some. Haven't used this yet today, so we'll see if it's going to give me grief or give me glue. I'm going to put a little bit up here. Oh, looks like we're going to get glue. Yay! Woohoo! That's a record day, isn't it? Lately. It's, a, it's been warm the last few days. It was really cold in the house last night. Um, my husband forgot to turn the heater on, so it dropped down to about 59 in the house last night, which is a little chilly for sleeping um, because it dropped into the low 30s last night, so here in California, but it's a beautiful, beautiful day today. We're gonna to have a gorgeous weekend. We were supposed to get rain on Sunday, but now they're saying no rain, so I don't know. Who knows, right? All right, now I want to cover this up. So I did pull one of these little cards from <clears throat> Tina's kit. It's going to go there, I think, and then we'll just put a word there. Now I, now I have an option. I could put that there. Oh, I know what I could do. I made a, let's see, where did I put it? I made a belly band. I don't know. I think it'll cover. I did make a belly band that I thought maybe I could put that on or just use the belly band and put something else there. Since I'm using the same picture on the front, I think maybe I'll just go ahead and put the belly band here so we could put some tags and things. I think that's what we're going to do. I was also thinking about using a side tuck over here, but if I do the belly band, I don't think I'll do the side tuck. I mean, I did pre-cut up some scallops here, but I can use that for something else. So we'll take that out. Um, this is not inked because I didn't know if I was going to use it or not, and I didn't really know what color I would want if I wasn't using it in this project. Would I want this color? So let's do that. Okay, you'll be seeing this on Monday. I hope you had a fabulous weekend and that things are fun. Hopefully you did something fun over the weekend. Um, I will tell you, my husband and I on Thursday had a great day. We uh, just, um, the night before we had stayed up late, did a binge watch and um, slept in really late, then got up, got cleaned up, went out to lunch, which we ate in the car. We it was a beautiful day, a sunny day, and we decided to just sit in the car with the windows open and um, have our lunch, which was wonderful. The breeze was coming in. It was about um, 64, so the weather was just absolutely stunning and sunny and bright, and the birds were, you know, uh, it was just nice breeze out. It was just a perfect, perfect day, really a perfect day. So we had lunch in the car, and then I asked him, would you take me, would you mind? I, it's going to be an extended trip. I want to go shopping at the local antique thrift shop because it's a combination of both. And um, 
he said, sure, honey, I'll take you. So, gosh, guys are great. I mean, we have our times where we're not getting along. You know how that is. But he was really sweet. So he took me and was very patient and carried, all, carried my, my books and all the things that I bought. Oh, did I have a good shop, you guys. I think I'm going to do a haul because I got books and, um, oh, what do you want to call it? Um, vintage doilies and lace. And I got um, a lot of sewing trims, lace trims, little bits of lace trims that someone had gotten rid of, bits and pieces. I got old papers to use in my journals. So I just had a great time. Um, came back with a bunch of stuff. Now, uh, I want to cover this up. And so I want to use this journal card, but I'm thinking I do want some lace, but I'm thinking now I want to put some lace there. And I might want to put some here with some pearls and things. So I think, do I want to glue that on? Yeah, if I if I go up and over far enough, I'll, I'll leave myself a little space to get lace down across the bottom there. Let's do that. Okay. Do I want to make this a pocket? No, I don't. Do I want to round the corners? Mm. Or do I want to I do anything with that? No, I'm going to leave it as is. It's already... Let me just go over the edge again. Oop, let me get this on. If you do the prep book, prep work or once you do it this goes very very quickly oh you guys I forgot to see when I started ah all right I'm gonna have to stand up and look I, so much like my buddy Gail I um get so excited to get going runs in the family um <laughs> I forget to look at my time oh my gosh 17 minutes so that would have made it quarter to two. Ugh, what time is it? Well, I'd make it um, hmm. I'm gonna say I don't know. Quarter to three. So we'll say 2.45. I'll check the time at 2.45 and see where we are. I'm not good at backtracking on that subtracting time and trying to figure out where I'm at. Oh my gosh. Well, not today anyway. My brain's not all here. It's a little bit on autopilot, which I hope is okay with you guys. Okay, so now we are ready to make this, look, at isn't this adorable, into a journal. We could round our corners. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking it would make it very pretty. I don't think this one would work. I think I would have to get out my heavy one, but let's see. Yep, it's not going to work. So... Let's see. I don't know. Sometimes this one doesn't cut a good corner at all. Well, I don't want quarter inch. I want half inch on this puppy. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I need both hands to do this. Oh, that was wherever it's thick, you know. Eh, get up there. Well, it's okay. I can't say it's fabulous, but it's good. I am gonna get my scissors out and do a little a little trim trim here. I don't quite like this little edge. It's right here. Let me just cut off anything that's kind of sticking out. There we go. What about here? Then I'll go back and ink. Okay, I'm right about here. Okay. Yep, we gotta do inside and out. Because now we have a very wide edge. All right, so we've given it even more of a custom look. What else do we want to do? Well, let's find some lace to go here. Let me see. What do I have in my box? I'm thinking I want white lace because I don't think this calls for cream. I do have some of this, which I think is the perfect width. 
I'm looking to see if there's anything else before I go cutting that up. Let me see. I think this is a good width. Now, this is a ruffled, which I have tons of ruffled lace for making little girl dresses and, you know, all the things I've made, sewn over the years. So, a ruffled lace is not what I want here. So, I always cut the header off so I can have a nice flat lace. It takes a minute, but it's definitely worth it because if you don't do that, you're really limited in the laces that you can use at a certain width. So, um... I'm sure that is more than I will need here. So let me just cut this off. I don't need that. Alrighty, let me put this back for the minute. I may I won't put it very far because I may need it. Now the thing I will have to do because I just cut it off and it's gathered is that it's gonna be kind of uneven here on the edges. So I'm giving it a little trim up well I will say things come nicely off this mat as sometimes they stick to this table so uh, that other mat my self healing mat yes I think this will work nicely to just put it on here and go over the edge Yeah, that'll be pretty. All right, so let's, I think, oh, I'm not sure how I wanna do this. Um, I think flat is better when you do it that way. I've done it both ways. Sometimes it comes out great, sometimes it does not. Um, let me see. Now I am going to just grab my ink, whatever's on my inker, rub it across my lace. It may or may not come off there. I don't know, on there. All right. And let's lay that down. Let me see. Get it down in the middle on here. And then put it on there. And then let me trim this off here. Ah, I ended up cutting the card a little bit. I always do. I don't know what's up with that. Even with my new glasses, I still do it. Okay, we have a little scrap left to use on something. Oh, don't wanna do that just yet because it's not dry. Let's see. Let me see, let me see. What do we need to do here? Let's add a little glue down the side. Let's use our little tool. Okay, let's go to this side. Oh yeah, definitely need some, absolutely need some glue over here. Let's go over here. I don't have a lot to say today, guys, other than, you know, just a little chat. I don't. Oh, I just want to invite you in to come have a little hang out with me. Keep me company while I do this. Hopefully, you'll. this is a beautiful, easy project you can do with any kind, any style, any of, you know, greeting card that you might have um, to use. There's all kinds out there. I mean, I could make hundreds of journals. I have so many greeting cards. I've saved every card I've ever been given. I am a pack rat when it comes to cards. Um, I'm just such a sap that I have greeting cards all the way back from when I was a little girl in school. I have, I even, I think I still even have my Valentine cards from when I was in elementary school. I've always saved them, but my mom and dad did too, and my grandmas did too. So it was just something we did back then. Because the thought was you could use the paper if you needed to. And because my parents were both uh, young in the depression, it affected how they thought about things. So they taught me to be very thrifty if I want to be. I know how. I can honestly say I'm not as thrifty as I should be, but, well, you know, if it comes to a point where I need to, I will. Okay, I'm going to let that dry a little. Now, the question is, do we want to add 
any lace over there. And if we do, what lace do we want to add? I, I really like this print, so I don't know. Could Oh, I could add it on the inside, and then that would give me... Um, let me see if I have something else. I don't have a lot of light, white... Well, I do have white lace. I just... Not on my desk next to me. What about this one? What do we think of this one? If I put that on there, no. Let me see if I can find something else I like. That one's not it. I know what I want. I want a version of what I just used. This one here. Oh, I just bought a bunch of lace. Silly girl. Okay. All right, let me roll this up before it's unrolling itself. Oh, and then I'll be chasing it around the floor. Let's put this back in my lace box next to me. Oh, I have some pretty laces here, but I want a, a more narrow lace. I just bought these, so let's see if one of these will work. Okay, let me see. Let me have to put that one on the side. My little lace box here. All right, let's see what I got. I believe I got these at um, something de cognito. Mm, the name is eluding me just a bit. Let me see. Yeah, if I put it on that side, that's one of them I really like. I that one's really, really narrow. How about this one? Not so narrow. What about this one? What do we see if we... Gosh, I'm moving my mats all over the place, aren't I? What do we see if we do this? Well, seeing the edge of that, I don't know if you could see it, would be pretty. There's that one, there's that one, and then I have this one. I know I'm auditioning lace. Oh, that one's even more narrow. Oh, that's really pretty. It's kind of the miniature of the one on the front. Well, both of two of them are. So I put it on the very edge, and you would see it there. Mm, I don't think I'll use this one. Yeah, I think that's one I'll use. I'll use that one. Okay, let me put this one away. And, oh, there's the pin. I'm like, where's the pin for that other one? At least you can see the pin on this mat. I mean, it is a tiny pin, though. I'm going to put it in my... All right, let's get this on. What time is it? I want to make sure we have plenty of time to finish this today. And we will put that on there. Um, sorry, my nose is a bit runny and stuffy. Okay. Oh, there we are. Come on, quit turning over on me. <laughs> I get where I think is the top of the ribbon and then it's not. <laughs> I'm going to move that to the very edge of the card, the pink edge there. That's going to be my guideline is right here. Oh, dear. Um, hopefully my head isn't in the camera. It could be. I don't know. How, I didn't look to see how my husband set it up today. I just asked him if he would set it up so I could sit down and do some filming. I needed to play for a little while and think about something else for a bit. Okay. Honestly, the last couple of years have just been nothing but sad for me. So, you know, I have found my peace and happiness with all of you and on YouTube. So I'm thankful to be able to come here. Very thankful. 
Okay, so that one's done. You can see it on the back, but it is, you know, on both sides. I'm going to bend this in a minute. Um, but for right now, I don't think I better bend it because it's still probably a little wet on the other side. Let me see if we're going to do this. Where do we? Ah, come back here. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Let's cut it off right here. Poke my finger there. All righty. I love greeting cards. Oh my gosh, I love them. I love to buy them. I love to get them. It's my favorite thing in the whole world is to go to the mailbox and find a card. And of course, you know, people don't do that as much as they used to, but I have, my dad used to send me cards all the time. He was such a sweetheart and he loved cards. He saved all of his too. I have quite a few of his cards that he saved. Um, not as many as I would have liked. I didn't know to save them. <laughs> I wish I had. Um, but yeah, I, I love greeting cards. I love to go and stand and read them. And I, and I always like to pick the perfect card if I can for the person. It means a great deal for me. Whatever I say in that card, I absolutely mean, you know. So I I have, periodically I buy a few, you know, in case I can't get out. But I still send cards. I still send cards. I still mail stuff. I still send flowers. I still send cards. I don't wait for the internet to do my job for me. So. Oh my goodness. Um, um, um. That got really stiff with that laser, didn't it? <laughs> Definitely need my little bone folder here. I guess this is still called a bone folder. I don't know. I don't, this is kind of a funny spot in it. I'm wondering if now I may go ahead and put a piece of lace right there because I don't like the way that looks. Let me find, in that batch of lace, I just had one that looks a lot like that lace. So let me just put this on here. Because this is going to be a full journal, so... It's just going to be a small journal, but it's going to be a full-size journal. So let me. let me cut this off right here. Alrighty, I love these little laces. I don't know if she has any more or she's still. Um, something Day Cognito. I can't remember the whole name, but she just look up lace on. Etsy and it'll if she has any it'll her shop will pop up but she was down to zip last time I I got an order from her so I'm thinking she probably doesn't have any more I don't know I should try to find her on my history on Etsy and see if she still has any I pretty much was trying to buy her out <laughs> Oh, let me see if I have the name here. Oh, let's see. No, nope, that's a more fabric. That's a different company. All right, so the back is just as pretty as the front. I think it goes together well enough. I mean, if you really didn't like the rose, you could cover it up, but I really do like it, so I'm not going to. I might take a soft brush and, you know, maybe put a little uh, rose color over it. Not right this minute, but I'm thinking about it. The only other thing I might want to do is to take one of these tiny little... I'm looking through my... Excuse my elbow. I'm looking through these. This is the new one I got. Um, it's still sealed. Oh, it's really tiny. Perfect for this right here. That's what I want to do. Okay, so let me cut this. I don't know if that's too small to use. It might be. Okay. 
did I take a pin out of this, you guys? Did you see me take a pin out? Hmm, maybe there wasn't one. No, it doesn't look like there was one. Okay, so. I don't think I will. I don't know if I have a small little pin in my pin cushion. Yeah, I do have a tiny one. Well, not tiny, but a smaller one. Not a giant one. Okay, put those back in there. Have them in my little lace box here. Alrighty, let's glue this on. See if I can find the front and the back. Oh my gosh, this is a tough one. I can't really see any difference. I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue right here. I wonder if I know I just glued this down, but because it's, yeah, it's not super tight yet, I can put that underneath there and re-glue it. Come on, you. Come on. Come on. We could do this, right? We can. We can do this. We can. Who can do this? We can. I was not a cheerleader. I was the mascot. <laughs> But I still had to know the cheers because I did them with the cheerleaders. Okay. I was a dancing cougar dressed as a cougar. Danced on the field with the cheerleaders. Mm. Okay. I was a Camden cougar. How funny, right? <laughs> now you say cougar, you think, oh, old lady. <laughs> Hitting on young men. <laughs> no, so not true. Okay, so we want pearls. Oh, I had to break into my pearls, ladies. Finally had to break into my pearls. I had to go search in my stash for another pearl. Oh, oh. there we go. Let's start a new string. These are by Recollections. I don't even know if it's sold at Michael's. I don't even know if they have them anymore. I have not been in. Oh, I'd say after the first lockdown, when we first were allowed out, my daughter and I ran up there and got a bunch of craft supplies. I was so thankful. They didn't have a lot, but we grabbed everything they had because we just didn't know if they were going to have any more, if we were going to have another lockdown. We just didn't know. So, um... Only so many people were allowed in the store at a time. So we got lucky. We went up really early in the morning and we got in right away. And I'm glad I went because I could not have kept crafting. I wouldn't have had anything I needed. I would have been out of paper. I would have been out of so many things. So I am just thankful that we did that right off the bat. Lovely. Lovely. The only other thing I thought about doing was, what did I do with? Okay, I have a pile of things to my side here. Oh, here they are. Yeah, I think I want to put these on there. Let me see. Cut those apart. <laughs> yep. I have the hiccups. I'm trying not to hiccup. I'm holding my breath. Sorry. But it's either that or I'm going to start hiccuping. I have a pretty loud set of hiccups. So, <laughs> yeah, I might not want to hear that. Um, oh, I get terrible hiccups. Just in the last year, they've been really crazy. Well, and you're talking a lot, so you're getting a lot of air in your tummy. Oh, that's pretty. What do you guys think of that? Okay, look at that. All right, we do have a journal card that's done. I mean, not journal cards, some tags from the kit. I have quite a few I can choose from here. I was thinking about putting one in here. So let me see. Oh, I really like this one. I feel like I need to have something there, but I don't know... Um, I'm looking at the cards that I have. And 
I'm wondering about cutting out a circle maybe to put in the middle. That circle's awfully small. Oh gosh. I have to stand up to get another one. Oh, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. Okay. I'll do a little stretch in there. I don't know if that's even going to look good, but I did it anyway. I feel like it would need to be... Oh, I know what I could put there. Okay. I bought some teeny, tiny... Gosh, you guys, I don't know what's going on with my hand. I must have got something on there. It's making me itch like crazy. Ooh, I'm getting a rash. I don't think I'm using anything I haven't used before. I mean, I use all these glues all the time. I got a uh, pink and blue ones. They're like three inch. I normally have four inch. So I found these little three inch. Um, I got these at scrapbookingwithme.com. So if you need to get some tiny little, they have all kinds. I don't know if they're sold out. I, I think they're sold out of the pink ones. I want to say they were, but you know, they get stuff in and out all the time. So go look if you need them. The only thing I dislike about some of these companies is they're not cutting off their like from where they come off the machine so you've got all these funky little edges on them yuck okay let me get rid of those so if I stuck that in the middle and added that wouldn't that be pretty okay let's do that she didn't have any white ones I don't think I gotta go look I would love to have some white ones in this size but I think she only had the big ones in the white I am going to add a little bit of the Victorian velvet to the edges just to give it dimension. Yeah, I, I don't know if I mentioned, but I put all new ink pads, inkers on all of my daubers because I don't know, I felt like they were all getting very dry and brittle and was just like, I want to have a good, let me cut, do this. Circles have become my new thing. I love using circles. Love, love, love them. Use them just like any other ephemera. People say, I don't know how to use a circle. Well, just use them like your other ephemera. Now you see there's this pretty lacy bit here, which I kind of hate to cover up, but if I do it right, you can still see some of it. I just have to remember not to put glue down because this is a a, a, a um, belly band. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm, I'm having trouble with my words. I apologize. Okay, let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's get this. Our glitter glue is great for this. I'm trying to do it where you can see it. And... Or you can see it, mm, it's a little bit blurry for me. So I'm trying not to get any glue like on this side where, where I wanna, right here. And only let it glue down to the paper, not the one underneath. I need my little. Now I'm probably going to have to add a little glue because I wasn't sure where that was going to go. Okay, that seems okay. Oh, I guess I got it. It's all right. Now you can kind of see the glue came through here. But that doesn't matter because I am going to be covering it up with that. Pretty? All right, so I think I'm done with this part. Let's move. Got the belly band all decorated. Pretty, pretty, pretty. When I'm done, I'm probably gonna put some stickles like around this and this to kind of match that. And I'll probably go inside and add some stickles here because I don't know if you could see the sparkly here. I don't know if it's showing. Um, so I might add some stickles to some of this. This is a pocket over here. If I didn't glue it down, nope, I did not. 
Alrighty then, so where did I do with the tags I was using? Oh yes, I was going to put a tag in there. Stopped cold because I didn't like my belly band. Mm, I love this one. This is the one I want to put in there. So let me ink the edges of that. Oh, I just love pink and red together. Oh, it's so pretty and cream. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just love it. Now, there is a little hole here. So the question is, do we want to put another hole there? Could cover it up with something. We could put a whale tail over that. Let me see if I have a whale tail that would look good over that without punching a hole again. Um, I don't think I, well, actually I have all kinds of whale tails that might look fabulous with that. That would look good. Let me see this other one here. Let me see what I've got a few. Mm. Or I could just use a plain pink whale tail. I actually think I kind of like this one. Sort of blends with it. All right, let me put these others away. the sleeves this is my brand new sweater oh it's so soft and yummy oh my gosh like i said i love winter when i can have sweaters on it's not a heavy sweater but it's just a yummy yummy sweater it is very soft like lamb's wool but i am allergic to lamb and wool so <laughs> i can't i can't do that <laughs> told my husband when we went shopping there was this beautiful sweater and i picked it up and i immediately knew my hands started itching i went um there's something in here so we looked at it and sure enough it had critters, angora, lamb, and lamb's wool. And I'm like, oh, okay, can't do that. It's tough to sew because I loved making wool jackets and suits. And I found out the hard way that it was a no-no. Yeah, he took me clothes shopping yesterday, too. Besides going to the thrift store, we also went to the Dollar Tree to pick up a few crafty things that I needed. And then we went to... Um, do a little shopping for me. I needed some new casual at home clothes. I had tons of working clothes, but didn't have, I put that down kind of far because I wanted to cover up that hole. So I don't have a lot of casual, relaxed, sit all day clothes like in my craft room. I have work clothes, but, or I had really ratty, ratty old clothes. <laughs> so. I told him, um, I kind of need some new. I, I, I only buy clothes about once every 10 or 20 years. So he felt like he was tired of seeing me in the same thing every day, same things over and over. So he said, honey, you need some new clothes. I said, okay, if you insist, I'll go shopping. Oh, such a hardship. I used to love to shop. Not so much anymore. Not since COVID. I just don't care to go shopping. Shopping is, you know, a pain now. It's not fun. I only go when I have to. I haven't been out in months. I haven't been to Target in over a year. A few places I've been, but very little. Count them on both hands how many times I've been out in the last three years. Two years. Alrighty. I didn't um, print on the back side of this, so... Oh, that was that's glued itself on there. I knew it might. Oh my goodness. There we go. Must have seeped out when I was ink and pushing it down. So we have a pretty little tag in there. I may go back and decorate that. I may not. This one needs something. Oh, I gotta find something else probably to put in there. Maybe this one. It's very matchy-matchy. I know a lot of people don't like matchy-matchy. I do, but I will be looking for other things to pop in here. I just am working on this right now and um, 
you know, I want to get it done. So I'm not going to go do that just at the moment because I want to show you what's going to go inside of this. And then... The papers I've chosen for the inside. I won't bind it with you guys, but I'll show you in the next video what the finished product is, you know, once it's all tied in. And if I do any, you know, anything else beyond that to finish it. But making it and, and doing all this fussy work is like, you know, I'm, look how much I'm able to do in the decorating and all that. Just, um... I may add a little um, eyelet or something there, but, and some ribbon or something. Okay, there we go. Those pockets are decorated up. Now, let's pick our papers. What I chose for this is, oh goodness, now let me put some things away. I'm getting overwhelmed with the amount of stuff in front of me. All right. I mean, I need this stuff because I'm working with it, but let me grab a um, little, I feel like I want a little cigarette card in here, maybe. I'll go back and ink that later. Okay. Those are by Tina as well. All right. So here we are. I've decided on some lace doilies, a little paper bag some little um sweet little papers to put in there some coffee dyed paper uh a um what would you call this uh ooh, vellum printed vellum this is from what's printed on it is from my um digitals in uh it's inside a jewel design but it's under vintage paper girl so this is the print from my, I put it on vellum and oh my gosh, I love it. It is yumma, yummo. So I am going to ink it just a little bit before I put it in here. And I did want to get rid of those hard corners. I'll go back and do this later because we're going to, we need to get our order and get things going here. And then I have three pieces from the kit, the three background pieces that are in the kit. I've got them already cut down. I have some music paper and I have some papers from um, Paper Baker Company. And so I think it's called Paper Baker. Oh gosh, what is it called, you guys? Do you know? Paper Baker Creations, maybe? I was looking to see if I had any of their papers where I could just grab them and show you, but I can't find it. But anyway, Paper Baker Creations, I believe. So I've got them all cut down. Now it's just a matter of folding them. And then I think I'll go back and round the corners after I've got everything folded. They're not all the same length. They're all the same width, but they're, you know, they're all the same height, but they're not all the same length that way. So, okay, let's get these. Get these cut. I mean, folded. Already cut. Uh, then I just have to go back and i to look for the writing on this so I can see if it's upside down or right side up. Now, one of these I want for my centerpiece. And I think we will put this one in the middle. So I'm going to fold it this way. And I did print on the back of it. And what I printed on the back of came from um, Angela um, at um, Angela Kerr from one of her kits, from her newest kit that she just put out. So I used one of her backgrounds on the back of these because I thought they were perfect. Let me fold this. And let me fold this. I just folded them the way, I didn't want them all matchy-matchy perfectly since the rest of it is very matchy-matchy perfectly. And then put a ton of coffee dye. Just, I actually took one big sheet. I have these 11 by 17s, I think, something like that. They're really giant ones. And I um, 
cut them up into fours. Then these little goodies, this is the cutest pack. Looks like this. It is a post-it. I just cut off the sticky part. It's called Noted Planner Notes from Post-its. Um, and it's four by nine by seven, 4.9 by 7.7. .7. So they are a blush pink, perfect for what I do. So I'm gonna fold those in half. Wonderful for writing on, fun, fun. It's bright white on one side, but I don't care. This has white in it, so the white can be in this kit. I may go back and do a little stamping or something on it. I don't know yet. I have a bag, and it's folded in half. I have this lovely doily and the and the other doily. So first thing I'm going to do is fold this one in half. And then I'm going to fold this one in half. I love these. Uh, this pattern doilies I got off of um, Amazon. I just put in pattern doilies, and that's what I got. It was the op one of the options. Flower doilies, I think I put. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to glue, or maybe I'll just put them in like that, not glue them together. You could go back and glue if you wanna make a pocket, but I wanna put that in there. So now, let's get this. This is our center. Two and three. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure these are all right set up. Two. Right, okay, those are right side up. And now I want to put the papers in between that I'm going to use. So I'm going to put a coffee dyed and a coffee dyed, right? And then I want to put in a line. And oh gosh, you know, I want one of these on the outside. So can't do that. Let's put that coffee dyed over here. I may decide I don't like this lined paper so large, so I may go and cut it down, but we'll see. I'll put that in there. Like I said, they're all the same height, but not the same width, because this has plenty of room lengthwise. See, there's plenty of room to have pieces longer or shorter, right? So then, um, I think I wanna put a piece of music paper in there. Yep, and I wanna get a paper bag in there, probably close to the center. I wanna get another coffee dye one in there. Let's see, we got a lot of pink going. That one, maybe there. Mm. Mm. Maybe there. Okay, I need to get in. Um, I wanna get this in there. I'm trying to figure out where. Oh, I think it would look lovely right there. That's from um, 1901 documents from my shop. I guess it's already. Now I need to get this lace in there. So I'm going to put it right here. And I will trim this down because it's too wide. I'll cut it off there or fold it. I'm not sure which question is, do I want that lace to be, I'm going to split it up, maybe put another one back here. No, I like the two together. Eee. <laughs> Stop it, come on. Stop it. Here we go. Alrighty. <laughs> I think I'm going to glue those together before I, um, oh, okay. Not doing that. Hold on. Let's see. Do I have a, I don't, I don't, I'll put that there. Let me glue this before I get going crazy here. <laughs> I'm already crazy, but let's not make it any worse. That's bad enough. Don't make it worse. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to find a bit of glue here. I'm just going to put it in the middle, just right there, and I'm going to put it at 
there. Alrighty. And the other thing I'm going to do, where's my little scissors? I put those away. I did. Sorry. Excuse my head. Let's do that. And let's do that. And I believe that that now fits nicely. Yes, it does. And those are not going to be falling out all over the place. All right. I actually think I want something lacy here too. Um, I might put a lace or something there. We'll see. I have this. Oh, well, this is cute. Maybe if I uh, brown the ends or something. Yeah, that would be cute right there. I think that's cute. And then um, I think I want another one here. Cute, right? And then hmm, maybe one here. So I'll do something, I'll corner the edges or I'll make them use a corner punch or something on them to make them pretty. And I'll go back and round everything. So that is going to be all the pages that are going in to go in this journal. It's not overly fat. I think what I would do, I will do is put two little um, eyelets on here maybe. Punch some eyelets in and tie it. Or I'm not sure what kind of a band I would put on it. Or maybe some pretty lace or ribbon. We could do that. Um, let me see. What do I have in my stash here on my desk that I could just grab? Let's grab a bunch of ribbon. And, I mean, I could do something like this. I'd have to be careful of the lace on the edge, though, for sure. So, there you have it. Our little journal. And I will show you the finished project um, once I get it uh, punched in. Because I dropped my... Um, my, um, oh, I don't know what you call it. I have a, okay, where's my brain? Anyway, what I use to put in my, um, signature and I knocked it behind my bookcase. I need to, to get it out. It's the one from Amy. And, um, so I, um, knocked it behind my bookcase. So I'm gonna have my husband crawl under there today and see if he can get it for me. It's a cradle. It's a book cradle. And you, you set it in, punch the holes. It really works the best. I tried doing it without, and I was off, and it was a mess. And I'm so used to using it. And it's like, I need my book cradle back. So anyway, once I get that tied in, I'll show you it all tied in. I'll show you if I add any other little uh, goodies. But it will be a completed journal. It actually really is. It's all done right now. But isn't that adorable? We just untie it. This was a greeting card. Didn't it come out cute? What a great way to repurpose something with a belly band and a pocket in the back cover the back add some laces add a cute, some little goodies inside of it put your pages in and you have yourself a gorgeous little journal to write in so i want to thank you for coming along for that i do want to share really quickly if i can find it oh the piece that i finished from my last video on Friday. Isn't this is adorable. This is the fold over ephemera holder. It is now completely decorated on the band. I have added lace and pearls on the back in my pocket. I believe you saw that, but there's the lace. And I have added three little pieces of ephemera there. This one has a lovely little journaling card here, tag, journaling tag. It's all decorated, ready to go. So that's in here. I did put on... Um, some Velcro. I know it's not the prettiest, but it does keep it closed very well, so I'm happy with that. Then when you open it up, I have goodies, ephemera in that pocket. I did decorate this right here with a little cluster I made, and then I have pearls and lace, and this little um, thing is from um, Shabby Dabby Doo Daw. And then when you open, this is from a Jewel Design right here, and it's got vintage lace, and you open it up, you have a little mini envelope from a Jewel Design. And you open up your pocket, and there you have it. I don't have, do I have anything? No, I didn't put anything in there. I do have little goodies for that. So I will have to try to remember um, to put something in there. Because I do, I thought I did, but I guess not. So this is ephemera with an ephemera pocket to hold things. And you just put it back in there like that. Okay. 
you open it up, you have ephemera here, which is another tag that's decorated. It's not sweet. I use some of those. These are from um, Happiness and Crafting. And this is too. And then this is from um, Shabby Debbie Duda. And then this whole card here is from a Jewel Design. This, all the papers here are from a Jewel Design. So I used some little goodies from other places to decorate. Again, Jewel Design. And, you know, we have lace. This is a pocket from my shop, printed from my shop. And then I have all kinds of goodies. Here's another one of her little envelopes. Isn't it adorable? It has a little postcard inside. Kind of feel like I should decorate this up too, but I don't know if I will. I probably won't. It's just an ephemera holder, so I put ephemera in there. And so I have all kinds of little mini postcard ephemeras in there. And then here I made another tag. And so this is loaded with ephemera. I have decorated everything with vintage lace, pearls, ribbon, quite a few of these wonderful little medallions that I made um, that are acrylic that go over the images. So here you have it all decorated up, completely done. I wanted to share that with you. So you got to see the final look of that. You close the Velcro, you're ready to go. This can go inside or with a journal. I am still working on that journal. I have not done any more on it. I've worked on some other projects. I will be coming back to finish the inside of this, a couple of pages and put in our, um, our journal. So this has a couple more videos coming. So for sure, absolutely going to be doing that. So there you have it, my newest completed, I'm gonna move that project. Boy, that mat's heavy, guys. <laughs> there we go. Well, I wanna thank you for crafting with me today, allowing me to get some projects done and keeping me company and keeping my mind off things. So thank you very, very much, you guys. And let me see what else. I can't think of anything else, but I will see you all again very, very soon. Hugs and kisses, you guys. Love you. Bye-bye.